first part of my job representing the United States here in Tunisia. Uh, yesterday, um, which was the Independence Day here in Tunisia, as you know, um, there was a, a reception hosted by the President of the Republic, uh, Mr. Mazuki, uh, at the palace in Carthage. So I was invited along with all the other diplomats. So I was there yesterday representing the United States at that ceremony honoring Tunisia on its Independence Day, uh, 57th Independence Day. So today I'm doing the other part of my job, which is learning about Tunisia, um, traveling in a different part of the country. So I was in Medinine this morning, and this afternoon I'm here in, in Jerba. So, so that's an important part of my job because you can't sit in Tunis and understand what's going on around the country. You have to travel around and meet with different people uh, in different places and understand fully what's going on here so I can report back to Washington. Um, how things are going in Tunisia, what, what, what are the concerns of the people, what are the problems, uh, how can the United States help Tunisia. So that's, that's what I do in my job. So it's, as I said, this is one of the best parts of my job is being able to, to meet with a group of students like yourselves. So maybe I'll stop talking and, and just hear from some of you about your experiences, how the access program has been. Um, what you would like to do in the future, what, you, what you're studying now, and what you'd like to do in the future. So Who wants to start and tell yeah. us about the, how they think the access experience? We always say here that access experience, we agree that it changed everybody's life, my life and as a teacher, and then theirs and all the teachers. So who wants to start and then tell us about their success story, as we call it? Let's go ahead. Okay? Hey, uh, my name is Radia. I am 17 years old. I am an access graduate. Uh, actually, the access program wasn't only um, just a program where we learn English, and um, it was more like that. It was it had occupied a very interesting uh, part of my life. I mean, it's not only about a part of or chapter of my diary. I I consider that uh, access was a turning point in my life. I will explain to you how, actually, I learned a lot from Access Program. If you met me before two years, you would discover a shy girl who doesn't have the courage, wasn't brave enough to talk English in public. And I'm proud to myself that I'm talking to you now. And I was 
um, let's say I was optimistic, but I wasn't dreamy. I did I have limited dreams. Now after the access program, and I'm so grateful. I words won't be enough to say how I'm, how much I'm thankful. I I am. The program was was successful because uh, in here we don't have the same system. I mean, it was learning while having fun and while watching movies, acting, doing some great stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Sir, my name is Ali Farouk. I'm an access graduate. I'm 18 years old. Uh, first of all, I wanna be. I wanna say that I'm very thankful and grateful for uh, for providing such a wonderful program. Uh, access program was the best example for for uh, learning students while playing. You know what I mean? It means like uh, we don't uh, we don't we don't learn English by uh, making, uh, <coughs> writing, uh, or speaking, or learning grammar. We learn it by uh, interacting, the uh, conversations, and watching movies, listening to music, and uh, talking. It's the, the, the most important thing. We learn the, the, uh, how to speak uh, fluently, to have a great accent. Well, I want to be, uh, I want to say that uh, I'm always thankful for uh, to my father because without him I would never be an access student because he discovered all the the, the program and uh, without him I will never be uh, a great person and uh, a new person because access program was uh, a very important point in my life because uh, before the access program I was like uh, that shy boy who dreams about having a good job, having a car and having a wife and children <laughs> and that's all. But now, <laughs> but now I think uh, I want to be a philanthropist, I want to help people, I want to help the world and help my country to <clears throat> to have a better place and to live a good life. Uh, that's it. Thank you. <laughs>